A gathering along the wharf in Shetakamp is not an uncommon sight, but instead of fishing boats, they were there for a special race. Small handmade vessels zipping across the harbor. The waves seem very harsh and I have found some sea life under there, so I'm kind of scared. This was the first ever de mer ton bot challenge, meaning ready your boat in Acadian French. It brought together students from grades 5 to 8 from four different French schools around the province. For the past few months, teams have been working on their vessels. I think that our boat is going to do fairly well and that we might win a prize or two. They say the design was something they all took seriously. We were watching YouTube videos on this stuff, and then we finally came up with one and that was our final choice. And our boat back there is what we like. And I'm confident that we're probably going to win with it. It's got a lot of mechanisms. It's got a little antenna inside of this, so it can go from like distance to distance really easily with no bugs or anything. Students attempted to pilot the boats 560 meters away to Shetakamp Island. Once on the island, a teammate was expected to load it with a chest full of candy. But choppy waters during the race meant none of the boats could make it ashore. One broke its rudder at the start of the race and another lost its radio. But the event's organizer says it was still a success. It was absolutely awesome. Uh, we finally have the sun is out. Uh, we have the barbecue with La Caisse Populaire. Uh, it's a great turnover and uh, we have lots of fun. The event was created by Stéphane Songier of a coal NDA in Shetakamp. I really wanted to do something around boating and uh, uh, water activities and stuff like that. And many communities uh, where we have Acadian school are also fishing communities. So many kids want to be fishermen in the future. And I wanted to do something for the kids who are not that much into sports or art. There was something lacking for like the little nerd like me. And uh, I wanted to have like a tech competition in their school. The school team from Shetakamp was awarded a prize for fastest boat for going the furthest in the race. Sonia says he's already thinking up plans for another competition next year, hopefully with less wind and more competitors. Erin Potty, CBC News, Shetakamp.